What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I am back with some new destiny speculation as well as a certain set of thoughts on a change a lot of the community do not agree on regarding to the update which is coming later this month the 1.2.0 update. So let's first talk about the main issue people are talking about within the 1.2.0 sandbox changes. Now many of these changes there have been well accepted, the ability cooldowns, the heavy ammo cooldown, respawn time is shortened and just in general the agility boost across all classes. This will definitely give PvP that faster feel like what we had within Destiny 1 making it a much better place to be plus the fact of 6v6 also being introduced. Things should be great PvP wise and then come May with the May DLC. We have ranks to chase as well. PvP will be a good place to be. Many people agree with that statement. It's kind of hard not to. Bungie are giving us what we want and what we ask for. Uh, yes, for sure. Not everything we've asked for, but the majority. But I did see all over Twitter that night, not long after they dropped this twab, so many people talking about the trolls and competitive game modes losing that radar. And this I can understand. People are rightly complaining, thinking due to how Destiny 2 is played now, people will just group up even more and hide. These points are fact. It's going to happen but then on the other hand it will make flanking for those people who like to rush a lot easier to do also teamwork will be even more effective here without radar I expect to be hearing many many new call outs but honestly this is one of the weirder decisions they've made and what we've seen come out of the 1.2.0 sandbox update there are other options which definitely would have been better in my opinion making the radar smaller in the fact of it having a shorter radius on the enemies it can detect would be a better way to go in my opinion this in turn will make flanking and getting close to enemies easier and make them close quarter battle loads more fun but it will also stop people from sitting back grouping up and hiding in corners awaiting you to run around that corner not knowing that they're there these are the things which I can see more so happening with the way Destiny 2 is played at the moment over people pushing forward using teamwork and skill and taking out enemies in the respect we like to see but the reasoning Bungie has in this no radar in competitive I do want to hear more on their intentions on such a system I actually just don't get it but we will see people we will see so we are going to move on and this what I'm about to show you guys is completely speculation on my behalf nothing more nothing less okay so on the official Nvidia website as we all know our partnered associates with Bungie we see this new MQ Design VR ready epic looking laptop let's not be around the bush here but check out this image on screen now do you notice anything strange about it I'll give you 30 seconds to look and see if you can spot it Do you see that? Now to me, if you haven't noticed it, that looks like Destiny 1 on that laptop. Crows and Ray to be precise. But what's strange about this is, well it's being played on a laptop. Destiny 1 isn't available on PC. So what is this? Now this to me could be one of four things. This is either just a design joke to get people hyped. Or it's actually Destiny 1 on PC confirming it's in the works. This will make many, many PC players happy, I am sure. Or this may actually be Destiny 2 and what we are seeing here is in fact not Cross and Raid and it is just something that looks like it. Or it could be that this old Raid might be getting remastered or revamped and we're going to go back to it for whatever reason. Me personally, I think it's just a designer somewhere being a troll. But this, a web page of such, would certainly have been checked out before it was made public. So it must have been the intention of somebody to get us kind of hyped. It could indeed be Destiny 2 though, and it's a place that looks just familiar to Crotters and Red. Personally, I at the time, in D1, didn't think much of the Crotters and Red. It was fun, certainly not the best Raid in history, but it had its moments. Playing Destiny 2 and what it offered for the little while it's been out, it actually reminds me of how good we actually already had it with Destiny 1 before shit hit the pan and for whatever reason Bungie thought an entire revamp of the game was a good and wise idea. Whoever decided that though in my opinion needs the boot. Destiny 2 is a game we should all be loving right now but it is in fact a game we all kind of despise because of how tragic it actually is right now. Crazy times people. But what do you think of this image? What is this place? Where is this place? Why is this within this laptop on this webpage? Let me know your thoughts down below people. But guys, thanks for stopping by as always. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always
Get it right.